morning everyone, it's The Wanderer, and as you can tell, of course, my Japan trip is over. I am back here in England, I'm back in my hometown of Reading. Gave myself a little bit of a break before I got back on it. Uh, while I was away, there was a little bit of buzz about this orange building behind me, you know, the one that matches my hair colour. It is Popeyes. So recently we opened up Popeyes. It was due to open on February the 6th, but I think it got pushed back to February the 23rd. Another big American fast food chain coming our way, of course, we've been flooded with them in recent years. Years. It all started, of course, we had the we had the Chick-fil-A, we had the Wendy's, we got the Wingstop, we got the Taco Bell, so some of those places, of course, which I've tried in recent years, I do miss the Chick-fil-A, it has to be said. And now we've got ourselves a Popeyes. Now, so just a few quick facts about these. Uh, currently, there are less than 20 of these in the UK at the moment, but they are planning 350 locations, so if there isn't one near you now, there will be one near you soon. When they did open, for the first three days, if you were one of the first two people in the building, apparently you got yourself a year's worth of chicken sandwiches on them. Now the reason I'm telling you that, because obviously that's long come and gone, but their next opening date is in Cardiff on the 23rd of March. Now, I don't know if they're going to do the same promotion. They might do, they might do something different, but if you're in Cardiff, just tell them the Wanderer sent you. Anyway, I'm here to try out a bit of their chicken. The only comparison that I have when it comes to fast food chicken, like off the top of my head straight away, is KFC. So I just want to see how it compares, see how good it is. Be my first try and um, ease back into the vlog slowly, I guess. Anyway, if you do like this kind of stuff, guys, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Click the bell to be notified when I upload more stuff. I'm the Wanderer. Let's go try out some of that famous Louisiana chicken and uh, let's make a move. Here we go. Okay, everyone, well, I'm seated. The music here is very, very loud. Uh, trying to find a physical menu, uh, but I can't find one anywhere. So if you do want to see what they do, uh, you want to check out the Popeye's website. Now, what I went for today, I've gone for the deluxe chicken sandwich. Okay, so I was just going through my order, and then I'm, a member of staff came up to me, and I'm going to tell you what she said just now. Um, it's a McDonald's issue, funnily enough. Anyway. I ordered the chicken, the deluxe chicken sandwich, six ninety nine on its own. Um, it can come with a meal, a fries and a drink, but I didn't choose the meal. I wanted the single sandwich because I wanted a five piece, a hot wings, four pound twenty five, and then I topped it off with a milkshake, which looked absolutely wonderful. A hand spun milkshake with Terry's chocolate orange. A member of staff came up to me just now and said the milkshake machine is broken, and asked me if I'd like a replacement drink. Will I get the difference back? Probably not. Now, so the original order did come to £15.74. Comes with a bit of VAT. My first impression, I haven't seen Popeye's food physically yet, but my first impression is slightly overpriced. But hey, as I said before, I've said it before, I will pay any price. If it's really good, we'll see if it justifies. Okay guys, it's arrived, but before I open it all up and everything, um, I guess it's one of those fill-it-yourself jobs. It gives me a chance to have a little look around anyway. So the general vibe in here is quite nice. Uh, I do think the music volume is a little bit overkill, uh, but then maybe I'm just saying that because I'm trying to, <laughs> trying to film a vlog. Anyway, size-wise, I mean, it's not not really the biggest, is it? The $6.99. Let's unravel it. Let's see how it looks. And you guys, you guys be the judge. Oh, 
Okay, so that's how it looks. Um, I'm still standing by £6.99 small, but hey, let's see how it tastes. Um, I've held it off long enough. A bit messy on one side where they, they mayoed it up a little bit too much. Anyway, Popeye's famous Louisiana chicken. Here we go. quite tough, really hard, hard to bite into, I'll get a bit of that chicken on its own, two seconds. Aside from the, the breading, I'm not really getting much taste, I'm not really getting much taste at all. The cheese, I mean that is... Yeah, it's like, wow. Not much punch in that. Not much punch in that at all, really. I feel like I get a bigger bit of chicken, because this is the bite I've had so far. So as you can see, I didn't really get too much into the chicken, so maybe I'm being a bit harsh, I don't know. Let's see if I can get a big bit. I'm not getting much flavor. In that last bite, I tasted more cheese than chicken. The chicken's too weak in my opinion, but, ugh, anyway, okay. Let's move into a, a hot wing, so, obviously I always try to do my spice. The reason I never ordered the spicy chicken burger is because I wanted the hot wings. I thought, I just wanna try what their bog standard chicken's like. So here we go. I mean, that's hot. I'm not tasting much. That first bite, the inside, kind of burnt my lip a bit. So when I said, that's hot, apart from the bad language, not much in the spicy sense. There is a tiny kick. There is a tiny kick, but at the moment, I need to get into that chicken proper. Here we go. In terms of spice, I think the mix spicy is hotter. Um, but again, that chicken is just really flavorless. It's soft when you get into it. So the breading is quite hard. The chicken itself is quite soft, but there's no flavour. And these were these were four pound twenty-five. I'll finish this. Give you the review outside. Bun is rock hard. I, I'm I'm shocked. I have to say. Right then everyone, so we just left Popeyes. Um, I think you could probably tell by my tone of voice while I was in there. I have to say, uh, I'm just gonna throw it straight out the bat. Uh, absolutely not impressed. Um, so, first, shall we talk positives? I think we should get some positives out of the way. So I did like the vibe in there. I do think the staff in there were really, really friendly. While the music was quite loud, um, I guess, you know, couldn't really hear yourself think. I did like the choice of music. It was like soul versions of some of your favourite classics, so like different like remixes. I'd like to find out if there's a way I could get any of them on my playlist. I might go back in there and say, you got the soundtrack, because the music in there, you know, it was good, good tunes, so I'll give it that. Price-wise, now again, I didn't order it by meal, I did it 
individually because they do meals so they do the chicken sandwich they do fries they do the uh, the soda and I think that's 1025 now I didn't really fancy fries I wanted to see how spicy those hot wings were so obviously I did pay a grand total of 13 pound 12 but there is a VAT charge so I do have to wonder if the 10 pound 25 meal has a VAT it, it probably does but until I can confirm that, you know, I'm not going to say for sure. Taste-wise, very, very plain. The things I could taste most in my deluxe chicken sandwich was the single gherkin that was in there. That had more flavour than the chicken. The cheese, as, I mean, you opened it up and it was all like, on the edges, it was really dry. It was like the cheese would just cut put on and yeah I get it, it's fast food but it's like it came on it's like right food's ready get it to his table um, the cheese though did have more flavor than the chicken so again that's quite disappointing considering it's famous famous Louisiana chicken and it's just um, that was very flavorless plain my dad does better job on the Sunday roast chicken let's be honest chicken wings not really that spicy I think the spiciest chicken you can get in a fast food in industry right now the mixed spicy has come back and it is probably spicier it's spicier than when I had it before on the channel actually um, those spicy wings those hot wings were mm, tiniest little kick nothing really really again plain the chicken in there flavorless just it it wasn't really that good it's overhyped it's another one of those overhyped american chains that has come here and maybe it's better if i'm in america i'll tell you what if i'm ever in america because i was disappointed by wendy's as well so if i'm ever in the states i'll do a wendy's i'll do a popeyes it might be better in america but it's rubbish over here and i'm just going to leave it at that so anyway guys first video back in england and um well a bit of a dud really anyway if you did like that though, of course, don't forget of course, to leave a like, do subscribe if you're new, click the bell to be notified when I upload more stuff. I'm back home and we'll be meeting Harry soon, so do keep an eye out for that one. I'm The Wanderer, and until next time, bye bye for now.